hey, how you doing? We're going to edit Revit's own internal door, that door internal single, uh, to give it uh, an option so that we can show it as open in 3D, okay? Which there's plenty of applications for that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the family. And open a plan view. Now, I don't really love the way Revit made this door because it's extrusions within the family. I'd rather have this door panel, let's say, as a nested family, but forget all that. We have to work with what we have here, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up some reference planes to attach the our new door to, okay? So I'm going to hang it basically where, where that 2D element is there that's showing the door open, the door swing. That's where our second door is going to be, okay? And it's going to be a second door. So uh, reference planes, I'm going to put a reference plane up here and I'm going to put a reference plane down here for the thickness of the door okay escape escape and dimension so there's a reference plane the door is sitting on there so we want dimension off of that to the new one we just created pull it off and select the dimension and apply the door panel thickness parameter okay and I'm going to dimension that other one we created off of the wall reference plane not the wall the reference plane so a tab to find it escape escape select the dimension and it's uh what's the door panel width there it is okay so as i said this is not a nested family it's just an extru extrusion so i'm going to copy it okay with the selected copy uh just take off the constraint there we'll copy it over here and rotate 90 degrees Perfect. So I'm going to align a lock. Here's my align tool, the lock selected to the reference plane I created up here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, a lock that guy. And I'm going to align to the wall reference plane. See it there? Uh, lock. And I'm going to align to this reference plane that was already in the family where the door end goes up to. Lock. And I'm going to align to my new reference plane that I created lock okay so in 3d you'll see there's another door there okay now we need to get the top and bottom as well so let's go to the elevation exterior uh there it is there so it's already on the right reference plane because i copied it so i'll just pull it down and back up to the plane and drop it onto it and lock and do the same at the bottom okay up we go lock all right, reference level. So what else do we need to do? We need to, we, we want these handles on the door as well, okay? So select one of the handles, uh, create similar, use your space bar to rotate it. Over here as well, escape. And I have to actually uh, mirror that. I'll click off the copy. There was no flip axis on it. Okay. Oh yes, we need another reference plane here. So, so we have a reference plane for the distance Offset for the door handle, it's a handle X distance. So uh, create tab, reference plane across here, and then dimension from that reference plane to that one. Escape, select the dimension, handle X distance. Okay, excellent. So align, and lock the handle, align, lock the handle. Then if you go into a, an elevation, you'll see that there's a reference plane already there for the height, so uh, we can align and hang on a second. So align and lock, align and lock, brilliant. Reference level. So we want to align the handles into the door, so pick our reference plane again with the door edges on, unlock. And then that other reference plane we created over here for the door, other side of the door face and lock. Okay, so the door handles now are fully constrained and can flex in exactly the same way as these guys over here. Okay, now a couple of things we need to do here to make this work properly is we need to apply the same visual settings. Okay, or similar anyway. So we select the door and the, the, the two handles. We don't want to see this door in plan. Okay, so visibility graphics uh, override over here, edit. We don't want to see it in plan, and we actually probably don't want to see it in elevation either, right? So I'm going to click off all of those. So it's only visible in 3D, okay? And okay. 
All right, so another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a visibility parameter. So select them all again and visible, the little associate parameter box there. I'm going to click that and new parameter and door open. I'm going to call it okay. Door open. I'll make it an instance parameter and it's yes, no, obviously already and put it into the visibility group. Okay. And okay. Okay. So then I'll select the other door and the two. Uh, handles now those handles already have a visibility parameter on them for uh, ironmongery i'm just going to override that one so you won't have that one uh, i'm going to click in the box here and new door closed instance parameter and i'm going to group it under visibility okay and okay all right so in our type family types we go in and go down to the parameters we just created uh, I'm going to have it see you don't want both well you could you could just leave it so that you can have check both and it'll it'll pick one of them for you but i'm going to just put a param a, a, a formula in here so that you can't have both checked at the same time okay so in door closed i'm going to say equals not open brackets door open okay so you only can manually control the door open checkbox and the other one opens and closes uh, as a response so I'm going to uncheck that, apply. I'm just going to close the door, as it were, in the three families, or the three types, sorry. Uh, apply. Okay. I'm going to load into the project. I won't save it. Obviously, you should. Override. Okay. Now, if we select our door, go down to our type, or sorry, our instance parameters, and open the door, and there it is. Simple as that. Okay. And if you want to go then into your reference level, sorry, your, your floor plan, you'll see there's no difference in what you see in plan. Okay. Now it's closed. Now it's open. But it's only affecting the way we set it up, it's only affecting in 3D. Okay. And just to show that it all flexes, we'll change the size of the door. Perfect. And close the door. And open the door. <laughs> all right. You get the idea. All right. So again, this might be something you want to do for. You know, for for renders or for 3d walkthroughs or whatever uh, and there's you'd have to go about it different ways if you had nested families and different things but uh, the principle anyway is, is useful listen appreciate the likes please like the video and uh share it around uh, if you know anybody else who might find it interesting or helpful okay and if you haven't already subscribed click the button all right have a good one guys thanks